it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I want to make party hats today uh, for New Year's Eve and so I saw this 2021 SVG file and I thought it was too cute with the whole shot and um, I don't know it just seems like that's that's what we're going into. So anyway um, this is on Creative Fabrica. The file is 2021 and it is by um, the designer is SVG Ocean. So I have a membership with them and so that's why there's no purchase button I just have access to all the files that I want so if you choose to go the membership route like I did um, I do have a code for you it's the useless crafter 30 all together with the number three zero so the useless crafter three zero that gives you 30% off every month that you have your membership. So it's super cool I love it because not just the images I like the images because I'm gonna show you in a second all my images, I can go and do the offset, which I can't do if I'm using a Dis Cricut Design Space um, access file because I can't take it out of Design Space, so I can't create the outline or the offset. So anyway, but the fonts are super cool because you have all the fonts and they come with commercial usage, so I love that. Anyway, let's download this file. And so when you download, it's going to pop up down here, at least for mine. Mine is like this. I'm going to click on the little arrow and I'm going to show in folder because I need to unzip the file and I need to move my SVG file somewhere so that I can find it later when I'm in design space to upload it. So here's my file. I'm going to double click on it and double click again. Sometimes it happens. Um, and I find that most of my files that I buy from Etsy, font bundles, uh, design bundles, all of that, they usually come zipped. So you need to unzip it, extract your file so that you can retrieve the one file that you want. So here is my 2021. I'm going to drop it into my desktop. Now let's go into design space. So here's design space. Um, before I upload it, I want to go into projects. Projects is where you're going to get your party hat. So search for party hat. The way the projects work is that you have to open up your project and then you can bring in all your other um, images and fonts and whatever. If you do it the opposite way, you will start all over. You have to start with the project first, okay? So here's the one that I've been using. So I'm just gonna go back to this one. I mean, it looks like there's a ton of, of other ones, but I haven't cut the other ones yet. So I'm gonna go and click on the Celebrate Party Hat and I'm gonna customize, replace, so it's gonna open up a brand new canvas board for me. And here is my party hat. So the party hat, um, this is a good exercise because on the right hand side, you can always see in your panels all the different things that are going on with your image. So in this case, celebrate is actually drawn on. So it would take a pen and it would hand write out celebrate all like this. I don't want that. I just want the party hat. So it's easy to change. I would just click on this and delete. And so now I have just my party hat. So the party hat, if you, I mean, it's just like basically an upside down uh, ice cream cone, right? That your sugar cone. <laughs> so just know that you don't have this whole space right here, right? You're going to have like a little cone right here to, to design and whatever else. Um, this is kind of big for me. I want to make it a little bit smaller. I've made this hat as small as three and a half inches. It's so cute. It's like a little thing. It reminds me of like a circus, like the ring, um, the ring person, <laughs> like the little mini hats. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Um, so this is going to end up being, let's see. I put it on its side, so it's one, two, three, four. It's gonna be about four inches. All right, so I think that's cute. All right, so it's about four inches. Now let's go and bring in our, our design. So actually, before we do that, let's go into Inkscape because I do want an offset, which I've done here, but I'm just gonna delete all of this. All right, you're gonna to go to File and Import, and we're gonna import our 2021 file. So let's go down here. Oops, did I already pass it? Oh, I did. Here's my 2021, and I'm just gonna click OK. It's gonna bring it in, and it's a little bit big for me right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure this is locked. So if you click on it, it becomes unlocked. Same thing as Design Space. So I wanna lock it because I want this to shrink um, proportionately both in height and width. 
So here's my 2021. This is the file and it's currently selected, right? You can see, oops, you can see because it has the dotted lines around it. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Okay, so you wanna click in the empty space and then you wanna click on your paint bucket and click on a color. It doesn't matter what color, we'll change it in design space. And we're gonna grow or shrink. So if you wanna shrink, that's creating an internal offset, so it's gonna go smaller. Um, you would put a negative sign in front of it, but I wanna grow it by 15. So this is gonna give me an outline. So click on the two, the zero, the two, and your shot, okay? Then I'm gonna click on the arrow again. And so this was the last thing that we clicked on. So it's currently highlighted, right? So you wanna again, click in the empty space, paint bucket, another color, and this time I'm gonna grow it by 30. And I'm gonna click on the two, the zero, the two, and my shot. So you see how the two and the shot are connected and the two and the zero, but these two are not connected. We can fix that in design space. So, all right, let's hit the arrow, grab everything, and go to path, object to path, file, save as, and I'm gonna save as 2021 offset. Okay, and then now let's go into design space. So in design space, I'm gonna upload, upload image, browse and I'm gonna go find my file so it's my 2021 offset and there it is so I'm gonna double click on it and save it and then click on it and insert Okay, so now we have our file. Don't worry about how big it is or anything like that. Right now we want to weld these pieces together. So it's kind of touching, this one's touching, but it's like, it's four separate pieces right now, right? So we definitely don't want that. Let's ungroup it. So this is our backmost layer, right? So let's, um, let's grab the 2021 and move it out of the way for a second. And I like the way these two are touching. What I want to do though is I want to grab these two and I want to scoot it over so my two is touching. It doesn't have to touch in both places as long as it's touching a little bit. I'm going to scoot this one over just a little bit more to make sure that it's really touching. And actually I'm going to move this a little bit more and then move this over. Okay, so now this is all touching, right? I'm going to grab all four items and I'm going to weld it. I want to make it one solid background. And then um, I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna get rid of these small little holes and I think this one as well. So I'm gonna go to contour and for the moment, I'm gonna hide all just to see what it looks like. We can always go back and add in this, these little pieces, but look what, this is what happens when I click hide all. All my little empty spaces are filled in, okay? So let's bring down our, oops, um, go to arrange and send it to the back. Okay, so here's our perp, this layer. And this layer, it may touch now because we scooted this over. So we'll see in a second. And if it does, oh no, it doesn't touch. Okay, so this layer is fine. Everything in this layer is good. We wanna get rid of these two dots, so just go to contour. And let's hide all. And I'm gonna show you what hide all does, right? It got rid of the little thing, the middle um, empty space, which we don't want. So let's go back to contour. It's so easy. Just click on this middle space to bring it back. And it's back, okay? <laughs> and then here's our two. Okay, so we've got our 2021. Just line it up the way you want to, just to make sure everything is good. And then this is gonna be good. Um, arrange, send to the front. Because nothing is touching, when we go to cut this, we can just move it. It doesn't matter that it's not lined up because it's gonna cut out into four individual pieces and you're gonna place it on your cardstock. So this does not matter the way it is. But um, I might want to get rid of some of these lines. So let's go, I don't know if I want all these lines. Let's go to contour and see what we have. I don't wanna rip up my paper. So I wanna see what this looks like. Uh, 
I don't know if I want all these little slits. So I'm gonna, but it does look pretty, right? All right, this, I may come to regret this later, um, not getting rid of these slits. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rip my paper. We'll see. I'm keeping everything as is because I think it looks pretty. All right, so my top, let's see. I want my hat to be, maybe I'll make it bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna do my hat in silver. So that's gonna be my silver glitter cardstock. So then my back layer of the yellow, instead of yellow, what would look good against that? I think white would look good against it. I do wanna, do I wanna do white? Um, I'm trying to think of all the colors that I wanna do for New Year's Eve anyway. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, maybe my purple layer, I will want to do gold. Let's do gold. And then my top layer, maybe I'll do a metallic silver. Okay, so then that I'm going to change to a different silver or gray. I'm just not sure about my white anymore. Um, so now we need to resize this so that it's appropriate. So let's see. I'm going to group this together because I want it to be resized together, okay? So let's see how big that is. The cool thing is it doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters because you don't want the 2021 to be so big and your hat so small. But it will all stay connected because our backmost layer, the, that white layer, everything, all the, uh, our two top layers are sitting on top of one piece. So you know that you can center it and glue it and it's all going to stay together. So that's good from that standpoint. Um, so five inches, five and a half inches is about, let's see. It's about this thick. So that's the 2021 on my head. That's gonna be okay. So maybe I'm gonna make this, this hat a little bit bigger. I might as well just go to 11 and a half the way it was, okay. Cause that's gonna be one sheet of paper. Um, no, I'm gonna make this five and a half. So I can fit two, maybe I can fit two hats on one. Let's, let's go to make it and see. So I'm gonna make it two and apply. Yeah, so this is a good size because I can fit two on each one. Let's go back and make it a little bit bigger. Um, all right, I think this looks good. Let's hit save. Oh, save as. So I'm gonna click. 2021 party hat and then let's click make it so we can see what we have because if you're so close to being able to fit two on one sheet you should right what's the difference between a hat that's let's just say this comes out to be six inches or 6.25 but at six inches you can make two hats on the same on the same page. So here you're going to increase to two and then hit apply. Everything gets doubled. Perfect. Look, it still fits. We can probably even still make this bigger if we wanted to. Here's our 2021. This is good because it fits on one line. You have all of this scrap for next time. It's so usable. All right, everything looks good. So I'm gonna make it and then piece it together. I hope that was helpful. You can do this for anything, but kind of like what I was saying with Creative Fabrica is that if you use a font from in here, you cannot take it out of Cricut, out of design space to do the offset. So I do like, you know, just if you did a name for a birthday or a number, right? You wanna be able to create the offset. You have to do that with an outside, um, I think you would have to um, have your own fonts to do that um, and your own images. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. 
that's what I use Inkscape for. So it's a free software. So just download it. It's the only thing that I know how to do in Inkscape, but it just makes your projects so much prettier and professional looking and just a little bit more. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. I, again, please post your comments. Let me know if you want to see something more difficult. This is good. You learned something so that I kind of know the path that you want to um, go down. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.